Hey everybody, Model Man here, and coming up in August or September, hopefully by the end of August, it's the fourth or fifth pseudo annual charity auction. Got a lot of stuff here. I just listed everything out. There's 15 actual kits, and then there's going to be 8 to 20 boxes of stuff. Let's take a look. This is only a preliminary view. There may be a couple other things coming up as well. Got a pair of Cobras, 350 and a 500. 500 is the new release. A Tommy Grove Mustang, the Daytona Transport Truck. This is Mobius Lost in Space Chariot right there. And we got a Leaf Ericsson, no box. We've got an Opel GT, I think that is there. F14A Tomcat, B25 Mitchell, the 116 Petty Supercharger, Charger something or other. Super Scale is not what it is. Wait, that is what it is. <laughs> Let's try again. The Super 116 Scale Petty Charger Stock Car, Chevy Blazer, Christine, Three Stooges, Scooby Doo, and a pack. Even though it says German on the side, it's actually 172 U.S. World War II Marines. I forget why I got those. Maybe to go with uh, some mecha that I had. Anyhow. So in cleaning out the office, I came up with a few boxes of spares. For example, there's a huge box of nothing but blister packaging. All sorts of really cool shapes that are going to be great for a lot of different things. I just don't have room for it. An entire box of just spare styrene acrylic and plexiglass sheet. Various sizes, various widths. And then I actually have one, two, three boxes of Greeblies. I'm working on a fourth box right now. All sorts of random shapes that I've collected over the years. Very useful in scratch building or anything else you might come up with. There's a box of nothing but stranded wire that I'm getting rid of. There's got to be thousands of feet in there. And then the big haul. Between these two boxes, there's probably like 30 or 40... Uh, uh, US based wall warts power supplies so what I'm gonna do is probably break these two boxes down to like five pieces each something like that and uh, yeah there may be some more not a lot of trek in this one the last auction I did back in what was that February this year January I don't even remember anymore last November already yeah I guess it's last November already that uh, I did that one and there at least half of that 10 12 15 kits were all Trek on that one so this one we're getting a few cars a couple planes and uh, we do have one spaceship representing I suppose and we'll take a look at all that other stuff in another proper video I just wanted to let you know that all this is going to be happening hopefully in the next week or two I really want to get this out of here and uh, into somebody's hands that can use it more than I can so, I think that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching. Today is August 11th, I think. So, if I So, if I am really on the ball, I could have it going by the 17th, finished by the 24th, and then shipping. Oh yeah. So, in the previous in the four auctions I've done, so I guess this is the fifth one now. In the first three, I simply wrapped everything in uh, brown paper shipping paper, basically, and everything always shipped fine. The last one, it was because I did it right before the Christmas rush, what happened was a bunch of kits got crushed, and that really, uh, I think there was like 3 out of 20 or something like that. It had never happened before, I felt really bad about it, so from here on out for the auctions, what I'll be doing is putting all of the model kits into shipping boxes, which means even though there's been essentially very little shipping costs before, I'm going to actually buy specific boxes. So if you get four kits, like these four here for example, I'm going to find a box that fits exactly them, go and buy it. It's probably going to be a buck or two I imagine, maybe more. So I'm going to have to factor that into all the prices on everything that's going on. But other than that, I think it should work out well, and uh, hopefully, like I said, we can get these to some people that can use it, and we'll get some money to some charities that wouldn't mind having it, I'm sure. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'll have another On the Bench video coming up for, I think, August 15th or so, I guess I'll do it. 
and uh, it's on to the Jupiter, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> See ya.